So I'm gonna let, I'm gonna open up the lines right now for anyone that wants to call in and um, to talk about what we talked about as far as forgiveness. You can call in. Let's build on that. And um, forgiveness. Let's build on it. Call in. I'll open up the lines for a little bit. If people call in. That's fine. If you don't, I'll just close it out here. Let's build on forgiveness. Let's build on forgiveness.
Peace reflection, you live. Hey, how are you? Peace reflection, how are you feeling today? I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. I wanted to um, add something. Um, so I can gain clarity on your stance. Mm -hmm. um, I know you were te uh, teaching about forgiveness today. Um, so you were saying that we are all God, like we're a part of God. And um, um, you had um, a time where we were talking about um, dominating women, um, I think, uh, a day ago. And... Um, I know that um, you use force, maybe, to dominate a woman if a woman is also God. Is that like abusing yourself? Do you consider that like self, like physical, uh, like abuse? Okay. If you're abusing so your, the, your the, the, Okay, so thank you for your question. In the mm. ideal, in the ideal situation, there is no fighting between masculine and feminine. The masculine understands okay. the feminine, the feminine understands the masculine and enjoys each other. Okay. But we are not ideal, we are broken people. Okay. The black woman has been conditioned to go against her masculine aspect. Would you agree? Um, no. Honestly, I don't, I don't even though I don't share your views, I understand how you got to where you got. Um... I believe that it's a divine balance um, that everybody has um, masculine and feminine energy, and I don't think a woman exercising the masculine energy inside of her yeah, is a necessary. I, I guess thing. I expressed this yesterday that we were we we were uh, as a people subjected to a project by the CIA, the, U, the U.S. government. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Where black men were purposely, this is called the New Jim Crow, were purposely okay. put in jails, okay? We, we don't make guns, we don't manufacture guns, we don't know how to make a gun ourselves from scratch, but guns came into the community that was actually built for us, we were pushed into these communities, subsidized housing, and, um, mm -hmm. and a, a lot of black men were locked up, and women had to fend for themselves, right? And because they had to fend for themselves, epigenetically, their children's children's children, after generations, we summon up a lot of the masculine woman in the environment because women have had to um, become masculine to survive in the world. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You understand? So okay. today we're dealing with a different woman because of the circumstances that we were in epigenetically. So the woman that we're dealing with today feel that they don't need a man, although they're still depending on the man who is their man. Um, so we have these strong, so-called strong-minded women, but they're truly weapons for destroying not only the black man, but the black family. But they knew this would happen. So what I'm saying is that Black men must, as, as, as we have been broken, we must forcefully take our woman and environment back. Do you understand what I'm okay. saying to you? So, no, I, I understand how uh, you're explaining it. But in, in your lessons of forgiveness, and I think maybe physical abuse might be a lower form of intelligence. Like... 
is it possible to reach your woman without force? That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. Um, I, think as far that, as, I think that your woman should just understand you and accept you, but our woman don't. And what I'm saying is that in, a, in our environment, if there's ever a ruthless man or woman, that chastising must be a part of the uh, the response. Children, yes, sir. Children, and I would, and, and, and what I was saying was, a man, right, is hmm. supposed to dominate and control his environment, as our lower self is doing. A man right. is supposed to, is designed to control and dominate completely his environment. His woman belongs to him. His children are his possession. This is, and, and he, and, and she is his. Yet a man is supposed to control and rule and dominate his environment. What I'm saying yes. is, is that we are dealing with a woman today that will not allow us to do this, that fake like she's submissive, that thinks that she's in agreement, but she has a plan B because she can easily destroy everything we've got or we're trying to build because she can go right back to a system that, that has been designed to destroy the black family. Do you understand what I'm saying? That, do you understand what I'm saying? To uh, I understand, um, but I think what, what um, I keep running into the problem is, is do you allow yourself to be chastised, one? And then two, um, if we are your reflection, um, how are you able to abuse yourself? Like, how are you able, how do you justify being able to put hands on somebody and abuse well, you yourself? Well, you call it abuse, I call it discipline. It's a difference. And, and so do you allow yourself to get disciplined in that way, though? It's, it's like, do you, allow yourself to, well, do you allow yourself to get disciplined well, in that way? The only, the only discipline I have to deal with is from the universe. Because whatever I do, is going to be the discipline from the universe. Whatever I do to my woman, if I abuse my woman, right? Therefore, I'm mm -hmm. abusing my nation. Therefore, the result to that is that my nation will not be uh, healthy. You understand what I'm saying to you? So if I abuse, like you say, my woman, then I'm abusing myself. So therefore, that's what I'm doing by abusing my woman. Yet, I'm not talking about abuse. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Um, you, keep, again. you keep implementing the word abuse when I'm talking about discipline. It, it's two different things. Now, do you, I mean, do you allow yourself I'm to get disciplined? That we should never have to get manage. physical. I'm not saying that discipline has to do with being getting physical with a woman, but discipline and meaning that there must be structure and order laid out, rules and regulations, uh, boundaries laid out by the man in his environment so that the woman must respect those boundaries and rules and regulations and cannot get out of those boundaries or there is consequences for that. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Uh, again, you, um, you articulate yourself very well. I understand clearly how you're trying to explain it. And I, and it doesn't, let me add this. It doesn't, let me add this. Okay. You are not saying that chastising is abuse because when you chastise your child, it does not have to be abusive, but it has to be a balance of your child understanding that I'm serious and I love you, but I'm serious. And so there has to be a boundary between both. And so I'm talking about discipline so that so you, you can take it and you can flip it and you can say, hey, it's called abuse. Yet in your society that you live in right now. If the police tell you to do something and you do not do it, the police will force you to do it, will put hands on you and make you do it within their boundaries. Yet you do not complain about the laws and abiding by those laws and what happens if you break those laws within that man's system. Yet if a black man starts talking about law and order and consequence for breaking those laws and order, then we're abusive. I will not have it. Okay, no, I, I understand that. Um, but a reflection, when you call somebody a reflection, I know... And, you, I, and um, that goes for me as well. Yeah. 
I have laws I must live by. The men have laws that they must live by. And if they don't live by, there's a consequence for them. And what I'm saying to you is that with our women and children, they will be chastising with love. With love, with love, chastising. Do you understand love, chastising with love? Do you understand that? Uh, I understand discipline. I do not understand ever the need, the need for physical. Okay, um, well, check, well, this is on the discipline is a part. Chastising is a part of discipline. That is a part of discipline. Punishment, consequence for breaking the rules. And so, when we have a woman that is broken, she will come and break our rules. When a woman break our rules, therefore we have consequences for that. Point blank. Period. A woman is not supposed to get out of line. We are policing our environment as men. Now, uh, we love our woman. We want to uh, give our woman the best. And we want our woman to have the best and know that they are loved. But they are not allowed to disrespect the laws and the rules of our environment. Ever. Without consequence. And I don't care where you go. I don't care if you go to Egypt. I don't care if you go anywhere you go in society. There are laws set. And if you break those laws, there are consequences. And so, therefore, for us, you are what you're what you're demonizing us for is wanting to is stating that we are going to discipline and control and dominate our environment where you live. They're doing the same thing, yet you will not complain about what they do when they pull you over and they said, "Let me see your license and registration." And if you deny that. And they say, get out the car. And you say, I'm not getting out the car. That they can come and pull you out that car, put your hands behind your back, put handcuffs on you, put you in a car, and put you in a cell. And if you resist, they have ways of chastising you. So because they're policing their environment, whether you are a man or a woman, point blank, period. I, um, I understand i guess the uh the train of thoughts that you're going with but when i was what i was about to um um bring up is you call people your reflection you call even your woman your reflection a reflection re implies equality um and it, it is it's um there's there's no checks and balances to what is wrong and what a man does to a woman um um in the system that that you're using as far as um, there are accountability with us all. And if there's no one that can ever challenge um, a man in a sense of if he's out of check morally, um, everything just that a man says isn't allowed to go. No, only I, because what you're, having, what, you're having, what you're not understanding is our society we hold each other to a certain standard. We have laws and morals that's not just for the woman, but the men too. And so, therefore, if anyone breaks the morals or the principles or the laws, then they will be looked at in the society as out of line and out of balance and out of tune with them. And then now what I'm saying to you is, if we have nowhere to run, like if we have nowhere to run, nowhere to go, the fact that our woman have the option to disrespect us is because they do not take what we're doing seriously. And that's what I'm saying to you. I, I, we should not have no problem from our woman at all. See, America gives, yes. you a, America gives you a false sense of freedom. You are not free. You are under a man and his law. And if you break those laws, he, have, he has once and again shown you over and over again what will happen to you if you break his laws. Now, some people will say, we're taking Babylon and bringing it over here, but Babylon took their ways from indigenous people. We were indigenous at one time, and they took their ways. Now, their ways of punishing may be more savage than we did, but we always had uh, 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 tribes, and we had nations built, and we had government built before they got here. So they have stolen a lot of their structure and order and understanding from us. So you cannot say we're taking it from Babylon. They're taking it from us. And we're just re-implementing as we build our own world back and we take the planet back. Okay. At, at, no, at no time am I saying it's okay to abuse women 
or children, ever. Discipline is one thing. Abuse is when you are literally over exerting or, or damaging or overdoing or taking advantage from a hurt place, from a hurt place. When you are disciplined from a hurt place, it will be abusive. We are not saying to abuse because to abuse my wife or my child is to abuse myself because that is my future. My woman is my reproduction organ. My child is my future, which is me in the future. If I abuse them, then I'm abusing myself. Therefore, I, I hate myself. But we are not into abuse on our women and children at all. This okay. is another um, one. Well, then, um, in, the di in the differences between um, di discipline and abuse, and I appreciate you clarifying um, uh, the difference in how you feel. Um, in discipline, w at what point... Do you feel, as a teacher, because I know you, you consider yourself a teacher, that you should stop learning? How are people not able to challenge you? Could you imagine, like, in, for example, if Michael Jordan wanted to play against the weakest teams ever, like, if he really wanted to just dominate the weakest teams, he wouldn't be as great. He went up against the greats because they gave him a challenge. And I think sometimes when you say you... You're not up to my greatest people. challenge of life is the system hmm. that is up against me, not my woman. Okay. Do you understand what but I'm saying? If your woman, if your woman, if, if your woman has knowledge, no, I, I don't know. I definitely. I, I, the I'm, last person I need a challenge from is my woman. The whole world is up against me, baby girl. The, the whole, whole world. world is up against the black man. The whole world. Um, the last thing I need is my woman challenging me. If your woman cares about you and she challenges you to be better, my is society, that not my society? I listen again. I'm telling you, I have a set law and principles and morals that that I am held standard to. Not my woman. My my standard is my laws, morals, and principles. Now, if I'm outside of that, and my woman reminds me and keeps me within that, that's one thing. But to challenge me, I do not need that from my woman. The last thing I need from my counterpart is to challenge me when the world is already doing that. The last thing the man needs is to come home after being challenged by the whole world and being challenged by his counterpart. Okay, so there's there's no interpretation of a positive challenge with you in, in regards to women. No, I think that if a woman is keeping me within my morals and principles, that's not a challenge. Mm -hmm. That is a reminder. Oh. That is her keeping me. Okay. It's different. If she uh, says, if okay. I say something and I'm out and she, with her femininity, comes to me, not challenging me with her masculinity, but challenging, but coming to me and saying, babe, but remember, it says this and this. I'm like, you're right, babe. Look, you know, when you're doing something together and you have a business partner and, or mm -hmm. you have somebody you're working with and you have a partner, you want your partner to keep you on track or have your back, it's a difference between a woman supporting you and challenging you. Supporting you and challenging you are two different things. Okay. My woman is supporting me and supporting everything that I stand for. And if she supports me, then when I'm out of my own, when I'm beaten down, and I forget my own morals and principles, that my woman reminds me of the king that I am, of the God that I am, and reminds me of my morals and principles in the most peaceful, feminine way, never challenging my manhood, ever. Yes, but, you know, there's, there's, there seems to be such a delicacy in, in the masculinity that you hold. Like, it's, there's not, there's a, um, there's, it's so sensitive, it seems. Like, the, the masculinity shouldn't feel, like, um, th threatened ever by a woman, because what, like you said, I guess, uh, your woman is... Well, when, the, when your masculinity meets the masculinity in a woman, then it's challenged. Point blank, period. When the masculinity yeah, but, uh, in you meets the masculinity in your woman, then it's challenged. So it's not that you are you are moved. Your masculinity 
is being challenged by the masculinity in your woman because she has no control over her femininity. You know what I'm saying? So she be, she uses her masculinity against you. Or should I say her femininity against you? Because it's truly feminine. So what I'm saying to you is this. Our woman should be married to us. True marriage is when two minds become one. When two minds are one, there is no argument. There is no challenge. There's only harmony and agreement. Yet, if I ever step out of my own morals and principles, my woman is to support me. And what I'm doing. What's, okay, and, and I appreciate the uh, transparency in uh, answering my questions. And, uh, um, you know, even though I don't agree with certain things, I definitely appreciate the time to explain yourself. And thank you very much for your time. No problem. I love myself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm blocking all y'all, so uh, anybody that's saying something stupid, I'm just letting you know I'm blocking you. The only will that needs to be strong inside of a woman is the will to hold our morals and principles within our society. That's the only will we need from our woman. We do not need a woman who is strong-willed against the morals and principles that we stand by. The men here are not allowed to break the laws and the morals and principles that we have dedicated our lives to, and neither are the women. Now, if the woman uses her will to go against those laws and principles, then there's consequences to breaking our laws and rules, period. Listen, if you don't like what is being stated by me, then don't join Carbonation. <laughs> Stay where you are in America. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to join us. You don't have to be a part of the nation. Stay in the nation that you're in. Who doesn't give a damn about you? Peace Reflection, what's going on? Okay, I guess nothing. No one's asking you to 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 watch. No one asking you to watch something that you don't agree with. You're doing that because you're, because of your ignorance. If you don't agree with something, don't watch it. Don't give it. Yo, what's good, G? Peace, God. How you feeling? Ah uh, man, I'm alright. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of confused on some shit, man. Like I'm lost. I'm really trying to understand this, wrapping my head around it. Uh, if we all gods, right? Yo, and not everybody's a god. Okay, well, truly we are gods. But if you do not believe you are god, then you cannot be god. You are mortal. A god is an immortal. Someone that believes and knows that that everything and everything is dumb is one that is awoken, one that's coming to the Christ. Now, everybody is clearly not God because they don't believe they're God. You are who you believe you are. So everybody cannot believe they're God because even though they are God, they don't believe it. You see what I'm saying? Okay. All right. So, all right. For instance, you are God, right? And uh, why do you feel like it's necessary to discipline your woman. Be, and you and, and I talk to and I'm talking to mortals that don't even understand the world that they're in. I don't feel like it should be necessary. In a perfect ideal world, your woman is in tune with you and she understands you and she supports you in a perfect ideal world. But we are broken. We're coming from a broken place. Our black women don't even love themselves, let alone love you out here. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So right. before, before a woman can enter our nation, she must be well disciplined. 
She must be. She must be one with what we stand for in our morals and principles and our education. So what I'm saying to you is this: Yet, if our children and women get out of line, they must be disciplined and chastised. They must know that there's a consequence for doing so. Even the men. Even the men. Not saying that that discipline needs to be physical. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? But a man, if he raises his voice as a man, and you raise your voice as a man in your environment, and your woman doesn't respond to the frequency of your voice going to a higher octave, then you have a, a challenging woman. This woman is going to be the destruction of you. Your voice, if it ever gets to another octave, your woman should turn into her femininity. But it doesn't. With our woman, they challenge that. The reason why they challenge it is because they don't need you. Because they have a system set up that is against you that they can go to. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah, a little bit. That's like, uh, like with me and my girl. Uh, I don't have to discipline my girl, you know what I mean? I don't have to raise my voice with my girl, you know what I mean? Like, we have a mutual have understanding. We have an understanding. Okay. So, but what happens if she, if y'all don't have an understanding? Then what? What happens the day she feels like, I don't want to understand you? I'm asking you, what is your plan to action then? What is your plan to discipline and to control your environment? Um, I never had that situation but you with my girl. Right, but you we, didn't know that, that, that if that happened, there should be, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I understand what you're saying, but, like, like I said, we, we have a, a mutual understanding. So when you say discipline, discipline is like to me is is like you disciplining your child. When your child fuck up and do something that they're not supposed to do, and you discipline them, that's putting hands on them, whipping them, or whatever you want to call it, and. Uh, I feel like that's not right. Okay, In number, my one. Eyes. number one. I'm going to say this. A man should only have wives that are young. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to have a wife when young. You can't have a wife when she's old. Do you understand what I'm saying? In the real world, a man is supposed to have younger wives to so that she can be molded to him. When you have an older woman who is not who has already been molded by the system, you're gonna have problems. So what I'm saying to you is you want as a man, if you're gonna build your world, you want to have women 18, 19 years old that haven't been subjected to the system yet. I'm talking about building a world here, brother. If you're talking about just dealing with a woman within your world, within the world that you're in, then go by all means. Do what the system wants you to do. I'm talking about a man that's that's coming out of that system, creating his own system and all understanding. Right. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not talking about a man that chooses to be in another man's system, like America, and follow their laws and regulations and be with those kind of women. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the woman's over here. First of all, I'm talking about building nation. I'm, I'm nation building. So this is a whole nother concept of thinking. When you're already in a nation that's already built, like America, then you can, then you have to follow by their laws. And what I'm telling you is, even there, I don't care where you go, if you go to Afghanistan, there's laws that men have set, period. Period. So, if you break those laws, there's consequences. A lot of brothers is on probation. You break the law, they put you on. You're a grown man on probation by the system. They don't care if you're a grown man or not. They don't care if you're a grown woman. You're on probation. That means you're on punishment. True or false? Yeah, that's true, but it, 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 still... It, the government putting you on punishment when you go on pro pro probation or parole. 
Yeah. This, as a grown man. That's true. As a grown man. As a grown man. True or false? This is true or false? Isn't it punishment for a brother to be on probation? Yeah, that's that's true. But still, at the same time, I, 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 I'm just trying to understand this. Do they put you on punishment as a grown man? Do they take your money? They fine you, right? This is chastising. This is disciplining you. They they put you that's, on punishment. You understand? That's, that? that's that's and, true. And if need be, they will whip your ass if they have to go there. Right. That's, what that's I'm saying, true. What I'm saying is that it doesn't matter if you a man or not. They put you on punishment. They punish you by. Talking publicly online, it doesn't matter. They said they did the same very thing to Yahshua. They try to trap him in his words. They came to him. Every time they get a chance, they try to trap Jesus in his words.